This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm with Everlast's finest. Come on, proudly sponsored as well. You know, it's been a long time, Mr. Craig Richards. It's been ages, it's been a while. Yeah, I've had my head under the rock, just working hard. But yeah, back out at the O2 this Saturday. Yeah. Love fighting at the O2. O2 is my favourite venue, you know, O2 Arena. It's the, it's the arena of South London. I'm from South London and it's, it's nice, so I'm looking forward to it. Last time I boxed there, a couple years now, I think Jake Ball was the last time I boxed there um, with a crowd, so I'm looking forward to getting back to it. That wasn't a bad performance, that one. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't bad, so that's what I'm saying. I'm just looking to just um, continue the winning streak and the performances from the O2 this Saturday night. Yeah, of course, uh, last time out against one of the elites of the sport. This time, what are you going in against, Craig? Tell us. You know, this guy's tough, you know, he's had 24 fights, he's only lost two on split decisions, you know, against a guy he had a draw with, and I think the guy he had a draw with is 15 and 0, 12 KOs, so we know that he's solid, um, we know he's ranked above everyone behind me in the British ranking, so for me it's a push forward because I've, I've completed the British, come up short for the world title, so this is uh, exactly where I need to be, not a world champion, but above British level, so this will be a good test for me to see where I'm at. Is that what you want next then? All being well this Saturday, not, yeah. not overlooking it, but a European or a world title shot? 100%. I want to just keep moving forward in my career. You know, I've done it the traditional way. You know, um, I never had all the smoke and mirrors up me. You know, I've done it the hard way, you know, from what, winning the Southern Area title against the unbeaten 12 0 guy after seven fights. I've pushed on to win the WBA Continental against another prospect. When I'm beat, won the British against a good, another unbeaten 14 0 guy. So I've been moving in the right direction, solid, and I just want to keep now collecting titles on my way up till I get to the top of the sport and clear them all up. How do you reflect on that fight against Bibble? Because I think a lot of people kind of expected it to be a mismatch, but it wasn't yeah. that at all. It, this is what I'm saying. I think like people underestimate me, and I think that's all because of the smoke and mirrors that maybe other fighters or this guy or that person gets. And obviously, um, they just the general public just listen to that. When you look at it, I'm in there with one of the best pound for pounds, come up a round short. You know, if I, if I judged it better, I would have stepped on the gas a couple rounds earlier and maybe could have got him out. Who knows? Um, but I definitely just misjudged the rounds and I, de like, I wouldn't make that mistake again for sure. Does it annoy you sometimes when your name isn't mentioned in that mix of Callum Johnson, Anthony Yard, Boatsy? Um, does that um, bother you? Yeah, well, I used to. I used to think, how comes everyone else is being mentioned? But you know what? It's part and parcel of the game, you know. Um, for me, I've achieved one of the most in my way. I've won all the belts in Southern Area to British to WBA Continental. I've done it in the hard route. I've beat unbeaten fighters. When you look at my resume, I've probably beat the most domestic fighters. You know, even beating Pitters, he was a top five in Britain yeah. when I beat him and stopped but him. You was the underdog in Pitters. I was the underdog. He was top five in Britain when I beat Jake. He was top five in Britain. These guys was getting spoke about as one of the best guys in Britain. Is he the best? Is he the best? When I was beating them. And obviously I still didn't get the credit after that. And I realized that I can't be looking, seeking the approval of everyone. I just got to go in and do my job. And that's why it was kind of for me to go for the Bibble fight because it's self achievements now, like world titles. That's what I want. I want a world title, fulfill my dreams and um, just keep moving forward now. That's what it's about. Do you believe to get that kind of big blockbuster domestic fight against an Arthur, a Yard, a Boatsy, you all have to win a world title and defend against one of them? Oh yeah, for sure. I think that's where we're at now because I feel like you, if you want that domestic fight, you kind of do it at a British level. If you want that British title, you always see it in history. The big fights are all two big Brits fight for the British title. I've done that. Um, I've done it. I've done it three times even before the British, but I've done that over and over again. Now for me, when I win that world title, if any of the domestic guys want it um, and moving at the top, I'm happy to um, defend. You know me, I fight anyone. I'm happy to defend against anyone, fight anyone, all the big names. Um, we can go for it. Well, a fight that might happen one day is you be the winner of uh, Arthur Yard 2. What do you think happens in that fight, Craig? That's a very interesting fight, you know, like, um, they stuck, he stuck to his game plan after the first fight. Yard just come up short, got to him in the 12th, and I think now it's really interesting because there's Nidu in the fight. Um, who knows? You know, boxing's very unpredictable. The other week I was sitting there at home, I predicted about eight fights, and I probably got about four of them right on the card the other day. So for me now, I don't, I don't really make predictions on fights. I'm just interested as a fan to watch. Okay, do you expect a similar fight though? I'll ask you that from the first time. No, fight. I don't. You don't? I, nah, I feel like the first time was just business. Now it's a needle in it. I believe there's more passion and um, there's more intent in it and there's more on the line. So I believe that people are going to fight with a bit more passion this time and they're probably more engaging, I reckon. Okay, okay. Listen, Craig, best of luck this Saturday night back at your home at the O2. Come on. And uh, of course, we'll speak post fight, hopefully, after a good stoppage win. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Come on.